Hi, I'm Karen Covell, the founding director of the Hollywood Prayer Network. I'm here today in my office with Aaron Batali, and we have decided we want to talk to you more personally to thank you for being a part of the Hollywood Prayer Network and to tell you a bit each month about our newsletter that we send out. We just sent out our April newsletter um, last week, and I thought I'd highlight some of the points in it. If you have any questions along the way, just let me know, and Aaron will pull up, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. However, this works. I will read them to you. <laughs> okay, she'll read them to me. Okay, good. So, every month, around the 15th of the month, we send a newsletter out to encourage Christians to pray for the people, the projects, and the issues in Hollywood. And we do that because we don't want Christians to hate Hollywood. We don't want you to be afraid of it. We want you to join us in praying for these creative people who are shaping our culture and who are influencing people groups all over the world. And so in order to do that, we break down the prayer requests in um, tangible ways so that you can say, all right, I can handle that. I can pray for that person or that issue. So I'm going to pull up three issues from our last uh, newsletter, which is also online, by the way. It will be, I guess, the information, uh, the link will be underneath this to find out how you can join us every month in going through our prayer requests. So the first thing I want to point out from April is that we put in a prayer request about Snoop Dogg and how he has just come out with a gospel album. And for some people who know Snoop Dogg think, well, that's impossible. And we are really excited to tell you that it is full of forgiveness, songs of repentance. It's gotten incredible reviews. And Relevant Magazine, which is a really great magazine for Christian reviews of films and music and TV shows, just raved about it. So we want you to look and pray for Snoop Dogg. Pray for how this has impacted his life, how it will impact the life of his viewers his family and his friends, and we want you to use it as conversation with other people. If you're talking about music, mention to somebody, did you know that Snoop Dogg came out with the gospel album? And see how people react to that. Um, talk about faith. Using the arts to bring up conversations about God is really easy, and this is one of the ways to do it. Um, it says in the magazine here that this shows his spiritual journey as he's been going along and that the last sentence of the article I think is really smart regardless how you feel about Snoop, Snoop Dogg doing this the last line is know that Snoop Dogg is praying for you the second one we want to point out today from the article is about the movie Black Panther that it has just come out in Saudi Arabia which is an amazing feat because in 1979 Saudi Arabia closed down their doors to anything that wasn't very controlled by the state and nothing could come in from the United States and now um, all these years later in 2018 this is the first American film playing in commercial theaters in Saudi Arabia and it's Black Panther which is an incredible film we put in articles in our past newsletters about how uh, it was like church on the set of Black Panther and now you can read about the impact that this movie can make in this country that's been closed off for decades. So pray about how the audience will respond to this movie. Pray for the filmmakers that they can see that the message that they have in this film um, people are hungry for. Pray that this brings more racial reconciliation because it's such a fabulous film and it's very unique in being almost an entirely black cast. And we want you to embrace what we're celebrating um, through this film, and especially to pray for the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, the, uh, the countries in that area that don't usually get any American product, that um, they can be moved one step closer to God through watching this movie. And the third one we're going to bring up is a really cool thing. In fact, I had a phone conversation this morning with a pastor called DJ Soto. And DJ has started a virtual reality church. He has set it up on, I believe it's called the Alt Space VR platform. And while people are going on this platform to look at different VR movies or shorts, it actually comes up as church. And you can go to church in the VR world. Uh, DJ Soto and his wife Carrie are visionaries. They're, he's a young pastor. And he had a heart to reach the people who wouldn't go into a church. And what he and Carrie have found out is that on, on Alt Space, there are so many non-believers that are looking through the VR world and saying, church, let me find out about that. He has sermons, 
they are doing a, my favorite thing a virtual reality baptisms they're starting and they are giving people access to God who wouldn't ever find it any other way they don't want to be preached to they don't want to go into a church they want to do it on their own and there's an anonymity involved which makes it safer for somebody to seek God if they might be embarrassed some other way so would you pray for the people going to alt space the people that are on this VR church the people that are being baptized through virtual reality and ask the Lord to use this platform to bring people to him to open up the hearts of Christians to realize that there are any numerous ways to get to God and for us as the body of Christ to support this effort you know when cameras first came into the to the sanctuaries decades ago it was a horrible mess with a lot of Christians saying how dare you bring a camera into the church well now that's totally accepted and expected and now a new thing is church VR so let's not do the same thing and say oh no how could they do that let's embrace it let's pray for the people involved and let's ask the Lord to use this as another way to bring people to him so those are three ways for you to be able to pray with us we have about 12 other prayer requests this month every month we come up with more prayer requests that are really pertinent to our industry to our culture and we believe to the world we look at hollywood as the world's uh, most influential mission field and hope that you can join us in that so if you have any questions come on if not um, check us online and we will reach out to you and connect you with what we're doing and we're going to uh continue doing these live videos for each month for the newsletter hopefully more than once a month with the rest of the prayer requests um so yeah feel free to comment and let us know what uh if you want more prayer tips from karen and which topics you want to hear from her about um that's it bye bye